Good morning, TCTC. My name is Talon Ramsey, and I'm the Sat Advisor. This morning, I'm very excited to share with you the story of Rob Machado and how surfing is his natural high. I never dreamed about uh, of winning a Pipe Masters. I was like number eight in the world. That was my first year on tour, and people were like, oh yeah, he's a small wave guy. Like, he, he's scared and blah, blah, blah. I remember I caught a big wave, and I ate crap on it. You know, and it, like, it was in the contest. And I remember I, I made myself catch that wave because the heat before me, I watched a guy paddle out and not catch a wave. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that guy, you know, because that's kind of what people expected. Started surfing in 84, turned pro in 91. I've been a pro surfer ever since. I was never one to just jump into things like full on, like head first. I like to kind of ease my way into things. I ended up paddling out in weird places, being totally freaked out, but surviving, paddling out a pipe, eating crap on waves and, and just learning. You know, hanging out with guys that I respected and I started to believe in, in myself. You know, and like, oh, okay, maybe I can do this. Every time a surf contest rolls into town, it's like a festival. And people want to, you know, participate. They want to party. And it's, you know, I was really focused when I was on tour and I stayed away from that, but it was there, super there. And I saw a lot of people suffer from it. I would see the guys who, who would party and who did get sucked down that, that road. I would see them the next day, you know? I'd be coming back from surfing and they'd be like walking in the lobby of the hotel, just, you know, hung over or whatever, just still high on something. And I just surfed and I'm stoked, you know, and like I feel good. And you look at them and I just go, wow, oh, I don't want to feel like that. There's no way that I could have done what I've done if I would have taken that wrong, that wrong path of drug use. I've seen what it's done to people, and it's like this escape for them. It's just, and they retreat into this different world where they think, they actually think they're doing better. And it's weird to see it from the outside because, you know, over there, they're, they're in this, in their little mind, they're thinking like, wow, this is great. I'm doing better than I was. When really, you're kind of watching them just spiral down. You're paddling into a wave, you got the crowd, the whole thing. You don't know if the wave's gonna be good. It's like positioning and the whole deal. And, and when it all like comes to fruition, that's when like that, that adrenaline rush and like the high, it just, and you see it. Like you watch any kind of video of guys surfing pipeline and it's like that moment when they get spit out of a tube, his head's back and his hair's blown in the wind. And it's just like, ah, oh, you know? So much energy and adrenaline being like, I don't even know how you could reproduce that. You know, there is no, there's no way to do it. For me growing up, I looked up to my dad. He worked hard and he was just straightforward. I just won a big contest and we were driving home. I was riding this big high of winning this contest. I thought I was the man, you know? I had my trophy in between the seats, like this big old plastic thing. And we pulled up at a stoplight and there was a car full of people next to us. He kind of saw me like look over at these people and he said, hey, you see those people over there? And I, I kind of like, oh, he caught me looking, you know? And I, and I go, yeah, 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 it's just a bunch of people. And he's like, you think they care that you just won that contest? And I was just sitting there like totally quiet, like just going, hmm, what do you mean by that? You know, he was always good at just kind of like bringing you back down to earth. It's like, hey, cool, you won the event, right on, but you're human. My advice to the youth, the natural high is there. You just gotta find it. You know, for me, it was surfing. Tony Hawk, skateboarding, you know, I mean, might be playing soccer, you know, I mean, like football, I mean, sport, it's, who knows? Maybe it's not even something that is 
physically active. It doesn't have to be an adrenaline rush. You might want to be a scientist. Getting in there and learning is, is a natural high. Never stop looking. I still look for it. I'm not taking off on a way of a pipeline every day. I enjoy going out, just riding ways right here, finding that natural high just on a, on a two foot day. It doesn't have to be 10 foot pipe. My name's Rob Machado and surfing is my natural high. What's yours? I'm excited to say that the judging for the door decorating contest is completed and the judging will be announced this Thursday. I want to thank you all again for your support. Have a great day.